made a series called Shells in Abode where I made clear hermit crab shells. I liked the notion of being able to make a home for this creature and then in return I actually made it naked. The idea was that it could always see what's happening around it even when it's hiding out so it doesn't have to put its neck out. I studied marine biology for two years, then I got interested in painting and printmaking, and while I was doing a studio practice of painting and printmaking, I met a lamp worker who introduced me to glass. I started off in heavy metals, welding, steel, blacksmithing, things like that, and then was really interested in the intimate scale of jewelry. So I transferred to the jewelry program at VCU, where I didn't make any jewelry at all. I'm really interested in pieces that are, you can interact with physically, and I'm really interested in the hand. Everybody's eye is very unique and individual like a thumbprint, and I was interested in that, so I've been using eyes a lot in my work to influence notions of doubt or curiosity. I was interested in the glass eye prosthetics because I had the lamp working skill to try to learn this, and I went over there hoping to learn how to make glass eye prosthetics, and I've used a lot of what I learned making prosthetic eyes in my work. Sean called me up one day and said that he had found this great space that used to be where Lamplighter roasted their coffee and asked if I wanted to share space with him. We started at VCU at the same time and we just hit it off really well and we've been working together for the past two and a half, three years. So when he told me he had found the space, I immediately really wanted to open a collaborative craft studio with him. The two of us have a pretty good understanding of how the other one works. I really enjoy having somebody who's like-minded but also opposite in the same sense that we can actually communicate with each other. These three chains are some of the finished pieces that me and my collaborative partner have finished. The title we go under is Collabacraft. I have some work at Quirk Gallery and my productions of glass with cups and glass necklaces. We're basically having an open studio with a small gallery show. And we're going to show new work that we've been creating as well as some pieces from some of our friends. We're going to be having another artist joining us soon, so I'm excited to see this place growing and expanding. We'll hopefully have more open studio shows in the future after this one. Yeah.